Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com. In this video, we're gonna be going over what is the difference between 12 volt, 14 volt, and 16 volt. But first. The headphones are real good for me to warm up in. While I was stretching before my game, I was able to put them in. I couldn't hear any noises. I was able to focus on my performance. Um, great headphones. They stayed in my ears so well, I even noticed I even had them on. Push cancellation was real great. Uh, like I said, I had them on, even though I had them in. Uh, for a real good in my workout. I was able to lean left, lean right, and they didn't come out. I recommend these headphones for anybody who's working out, any day-to-day -day lifestyle, especially if you're active. These are the, some great headphones to use. All right, so let's get into this. Voltages and different alternators and all this different stuff with car audio is commonly asked questions all the time on uh, Facebook and all these other places that I see people asking it. But anyway, we're gonna briefly get into them and why there is different voltages and what people use them for. So the standard voltage is going to be your 12 volt system. That is what 95% or 99% of vehicles come as like your like my truck outside, my Chevy work truck has a 12 volt system in there. So 12 volt batteries, usually a 12 volt AGM battery or excess power battery, it's gonna float around 12.8, somewhere in there. And you typically would charge it around 14.4 to 14.8. Some people bump it up a little bit more than that, but uh, that's typical charging. I would say 14 volt to 14.8 volts on the charging. Some people want to bump up their voltage a little bit because if you want to get, well, if your amplifier can handle it, the higher your voltage goes, usually the more power your amplifier puts out and the less amperage that it requests to put out that power. So um, some people want to step it up to the 14 volt uh, system. So your 14 volt batteries are typically uh, floating, I think around 15 volts, somewhere in there. So, uh, and recommended charging on 14 volt systems is usually around 16.8 or 17.2 somewhere in there so that's going to cover your 14 volt side and some vehicles can deal with that high uh, like some people say Chevy trucks for instance older Chevy trucks they have where you can they can handle some of them again don't don't quote me on this don't go do this without your prior research but I've seen people do it on say uh, Chevy Tahoe's like the one that my that I have 98 model or prior to that people will run, they'll swap out their factory batteries and they'll go with 14 volt uh, excess power batteries and then they'll do an external regulator on their alternator setup and have one under the hood and one in the, or, or several of them in the back, like a battery bank, 14 volt battery bank. And they will get an external regulator put on their alternator so they can turn it up to that 16.8 or 17.2 on the charge side. Uh, some people, uh, so instead of your voltage hand being right in the middle where it usually is, it'll be way over to the side because you're going to be charging like <laughs> overcharging a, a factory system but some vehicles like the chevy tahoe can deal with it so the next one that we have is going to be 16 volt which is what i've ran in my tahoe for a while again it's going to require this one's going to require two different charging systems because you're going to need a 12 volt system to run your factory electronics like your factory location battery a 12 volt alternator to charge that one and run everything your everything that your vehicle runs off of factory then you'll have a totally different charging system which in my tahoe i have four Mechman alternators on the 16 volt side that charges the, the subwoofer side or the sub amp side of my system because it's able to be charged higher. So anyway, when you get into this, that's when you have to have the two different charging systems and depending on what kind of 16 volt system you have. When I was running the excess power 16 volt AGMs, I think it's the D1600s in there. I believe I was charging in the high teens, uh, 18, five to 19 volts somewhere in there but now that i have the uh, yin long cells in there the excess power uh, 40 amp hour yin long cells in this huge bank it doesn't have to be charged quite as high in the configuration that i have it in so i usually charge it around 16 volts 16.5 somewhere in there so if you have a, uh, a need for a higher voltage in your uh, setup that this is the two different ones that you could do you could do the 14 volt or you could do the 16 volt so sometimes with the 14 volt you can get away with like running everything off of that but you definitely cannot do it on the 16 volt side because it's going to be too hot for a factory electrical but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and cut this off that's going to give you all the general uh, information on 
this topic I believe you need. We have several other videos on what alternator to use, when you need to upgrade your alternator, how to do a big three kit, and like several different videos on voltage and electrical on this channel. So definitely go check those out and you can expand your knowledge on that. Appreciate you joining me once again. And don't forget about the down for sound difference. Guaranteed lowest prices, fast shipping, best customer service. And we have a ton of different financing options on the website under the financing tab. And we'll see you in the next one. Later. What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.